think about what the opportunity is right now, because I do find that if in this room you are over the age of 30, if you're in this room and you're over the age of 30, and I fit in that category as well, we all are the, the children of people who suffered the stress of, the, of owning a house in the 80s and the 90s. We have been taught during our formative years that buying a house is pay off the mortgage as fast as you can, <laughs> right? When my mom found out I had bought a property, she was said to me, she's like, how are you gonna pay off the mortgage? And I was like, what? She's like, pay it off. I'm like, what is wrong with her? She's crazy. <laughs> And then when I, we're sitting at dinner, even today, if we're having dinner, I'm like, Mom, I have a thousand mortgages. Her eyes just go red. <laughs> oh, oh, he, she's like, your father and I paid 18% interest. I'm like, oh my god, you're right. If it was the 80s, I would tell everybody, pay, this, pay these things off, because they're like credit cards. But what are the interest rates today? What's an interest rate on a mortgage today? 3, 2.5, 2.4. That advice does not apply today. We live in a very different world. In fact, this is the most opportunistic time in our economy's history to use leverage. It has never been more affordable to borrow money and make money. And literally, in the 80s, yeah, if you were borrowing money at 18%, ooh, it's tough to get an 18% return anywhere. Even on a business, you know, they're trying to get a 20% return. So you can see how the margins are pretty tight. But today, 2.5%? If you don't think you can do better than 2.5% with a little bit of your energy, you have a confidence problem. That's the problem. Because I can get better than a 2.5% return on my energy. And that's what every, every, business is, every business in our economy, the entire stock market. This is my 30-second tutorial on how business works. Every business works like this. It borrows money. That's what the stock market is. It's a way for companies to borrow money. Even private companies borrow money. Real estate investors borrow money. Put it into something that makes you more then the cost of borrowing and your expenses, and you get to keep everything in between. That is how our entire economy works. That is a four-year degree in commerce. <laughs> okay? So, understand, looking at a product and saying, what is the return, which I'm going to show you how to calculate a return on a property, and if that return, after it pays off all its expenses, can afford 2.5%, everything above that is profit for you. So you're using somebody else's money to work for you and make you money. And if it's working, you scale it up. And the more of them that you have, the more leverage you can create to buy more of them.